no, no. You have to read it much slower than that. Damn it, this is a mattress commercial, not an auction. It's supposed to be restful, sleepy. And you're talking... I can't even make out what you're saying. Oh, sure, I gotcha. I, I know, I just, in my head, I, I kind of want to make sure it fits. But I follow you. Can I just, um, uh, can I just, uh... I don't know where you find him, Sadie. This kid here, he couldn't read his way out of a paper bag. Just look at him out there. I mean, look at his throat. <laughs> it's, his throat is sweating, okay? Look, his throat is actually sweating. Listen, Slade. If this sweaty kid was handling one of my big accounts, I'd probably do myself in a lot faster than I'm going with this gin right now. But lucky for me, he's voicing a local mattress shop. And lucky for you, you're a producer who's paid by the hour. Why don't you just take it easy and get him down? Then you can slip out of this dump of a studio right into a gentleman jack with a water back. Sadie, please. Plus, his mother and I go way back. We room together in our first times away from home at Eastland School for Girls in Peekskill, New York, so I'm stuck with him. Ugh, oh, you're breaking my heart. Look, you're right, he's green. But he does work cheap, and he's always available, and always on time. I excuse me. That's because no one will hire him. Excuse me, I can hear you. That's right. Yeah, you can hear me because I want you to hear me. Listen, I actually work in this industry. I know how this stuff works. Okay, okay, uh, all right. Do you think that you can speak slowly and enunciate? He's no Richard Manley. You're no Richard Manley, kid. All right already. Hold on. <sighs> Listen, darling. You're going to have to do better than the horse hockey to make it in this business. This is real cutthroat stuff, and I'll cut you. I'll cut you like you've never been cut before. I can make the ink on your pink slip run red. You should know that Richard Manley is in the studio next hour, and if you don't get this straight, Slade Ham might just throw it to Dick. What do you want? We're friends. But look it. I won't blame him. We could get him in here, and he could cut this one-minute spot in 30 seconds. He's that good, doll. What do you think this station would be today without Richard Manley uttering those famous words? Keep listening to KROA, because at KROA, you're, you're A-OK. -okay. I know, I know, the man's a genius. Relax, kid. Every star was once a star in the making. Keep your chin up. Okay, uh, thanks. So, what'd you say to him? I just told him he's doing okay, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. I can hear all that crap. <laughs> all right, kid, take it from the top. Again, that's Maddie's Refurbished Mattresses. Now 10% fewer stains. Maddie's Refurbished Mattresses. Black, uh, black light tested and Maddie approved. Uh, nice try, kid. Uh, let's take a break. Come on, Buck. Buck up. You can do this. You're swift of foot and silver tongue. If you were a Greek god, you'd be Hermes. Or even Aphrodite. Or, well, maybe those two are bad mixed. But I know what I mean. You think Cornelius, Casey Kasem, or Dick Manley has any better than their rookies? Well, maybe not. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber bugger baby bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Join us next time when we hear Buck say... Sorry, sir. I said, I want your sack. And Sadie, the advertising rep, say... I don't know why I work with these jackballs. And Slade, the producer, say... Oh, they can't dust liquid butter for print. And Dick Manley says... Uh, why does it have to be a black light?